One of the most impressive sites you'll find anywhere in the world is right here in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota, Mount Rushmore. Guts and Borglum's tribute to four presidents who shaped our country's history. Guts and Borglum was the architect of Mount Rushmore. He was born of Danish immigrants in the western state of Idaho. Not only was he a talented artist and sculptor, but he was a political activist back in the 1920s when our country was prospering. Let's visit his studio. When you come to Mount Rushmore, there are many friendly park rangers to greet you. Ed is one of us. You're one of the park rangers oh, here, Ed. Absolutely. What is your role? What do you guys do? Uh, I'm a park ranger, interpretive ranger, and what we do is we play, explain the history of the mountain, give you all the background, we do walks and talks, we have a ranger walk, we take people down the presidential trail, explain to them how Mount Rushmore got its name, some of the Black Hills history. Why don't you give us just a brief synopsis of what you tell? What, what did happen in 1923 and why did Borglum pick those four presidents? Okay, well, the big thing happened in 1923 is when Doan Robinson, the South Dakota state historian, he wanted to attract tourists to come visit South Dakota. We're a young state yet, and he knew tourism was going to be a big part of South Dakota's economy, and he wanted to get a start on it. But he wasn't thinking about presidents, he wasn't thinking about Mount Rushmore. He was thinking about the Needles area. He'd been down there, you see these great big granite oh, spires sticking out of the ground. He wanted to take those spires and carve individual Western figures in those. People like Buffalo Bill, Lewis and Clark, Chief Red Cloud. So he got a hold of Borglum, he invited Borglum to come on out here in the, um, September of 1924. Borglum went to the Needles area, but he rejected the rock. He said, there's too weather, there's too many cracks on it. So he left, went back down to Stone Mountain. This is where he was learning how to carve mountains. But then eventually, to make a long story short, they let Borglum go from Stone Mountain. He come back out here in August of 1925, and he told Don Robinson, I want to do a national focus. He said.